Alliance of Students Associations is calling for the government of Canada to support students as quickly as possible. Brenda Chasselaine joins me now, Chair of Canadian Alliance of Student Associations. Brenda, thanks a lot for your time today here on CTV News Channel. Certainly a very difficult situation for students right across this country. Talk to me about what is needed now. What are you looking for in terms of that support? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge for students is that they're, you know, left in a limbo period right now where a number of them were hoping to be able to access the student service grant or similarly access some of the other government programs that were made available this year. And one thing that we've been pushing for with the federal government is to ensure that leading into the fall semester that no student in Canada is left behind. Mm -hmm. And there have been gaps in the federal aid programs in terms of international students not being eligible. Similarly with the student service grant, uh, students over 30 not being eligible. So we're hopeful that there will be some swift action uh, to provide money and assistance to students that need it right now. I want to get your reaction, your sense of what you've been seeing here unfolding. We know that uh, close to a billion dollar contract was supposed to be uh, handled by the WE charity. Certainly things have uh, fallen apart. The House of Cards has fallen apart on that here. Directly affected are the students. I want to get your thoughts on what you've been seeing here. Yeah, my primary concern uh, is the students that, again, have been left in that limbo period mm -hmm. that aren't really sure what the next step is going to look like for them. And we were quite happy to see uh, the student service grant initially implemented because we thought it represented the fact that the federal government was looking to get financial assistance uh, to students in whatever way that they could. Mm -hmm. And we know that thousands of students signed up for this program in the first week, and it's been disappointing to see how long it's taken to roll out. So we're hoping now that the federal government might be able to reallocate this money uh, towards some other programming that would help students in terms of their return in the fall. Timing, of course, is certainly of the essence. Is there a concern that you are running out of time? Will students, for example, be able to get the full benefits of what they're promised? There's a significant concern. You know, we initially saw details of this program uh, announced in April, and we waited for more information and only got that uh, in the last week of June. And, you know, we're we're nearing August 1st here. That means there's about a month left for most students in terms mm -hmm. of trying to, to find a bit of money before the fall. So I think the, the time has run out on this program, and we're hopeful that the government might be able to reallocate this money, uh, which is a significant investment in students towards some mm -hmm. programming that they'll be able to access. And students, I mean, every year they're looking for that support, right? I mean, there, there needs to be that support in terms of that they're finding jobs and, and opportunities. Add now the pandemic into this and, and things have been, expl you know, exploded tenfold here. How has the pandemic been affecting students across this country? Yeah, you bring up a great point there because the job market has basically evaporated for mm -hmm. students in a number of areas. And so for the students that have been able to access the emergency response benefit or the emergency student benefit, it's been a huge support in terms of allowing students to focus a little bit more on their immediate payments like rent or groceries. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, students are still going to find themselves in a financial hole when it comes to thinking about how they're going to pay for tuition uh, and additional fees in the fall. So there's been a significant impact and there's definitely a tremendous amount of uncertainty facing students right now. Yeah, unfortunately, so many, as you say, are being left in limbo, and now it's just that wait-and-see situation, and we will continue to follow it, certainly. Brenda Chasselin, Chair of Canadian Alliance of Student Associations. Brenda, thank you very much for this. We'll talk again soon. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.